This is the ornament I'm going to show you how to make for this project. To start this project, you just grab some scrap wood out of the scrap bin, various colors, make it well, glue it up, get you a loaf, clamp it up, and you're ready to go. So I have my Christmas tree loaf put together. We'll do some fine trimming to cut out the star, but because that'll be so delicate, we'll do that at that last. We also have our tree stand yet to glue on. But now what I want to do is cut holes or drill holes into here so I can put dowels in here for little decorations for little balls and also put a little a few holes in there to represent lights. But the issue I have is my drill bit's not long enough to go all the way through here. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut my loaf into thirds so I can be able to drill into here and be able to get the dowels all the way through for glue up. So let's cut this in thirds and go from there. After glue up, I cut the shape of a Christmas tree for the main part of the loaf. And you can see I just picked six or seven random pieces, different textures, different colors of wood to glue those together. And I cut it to size and of course cut the shape of the Christmas tree before I had the chance to end up with my final result, which is the loaf. Okay, so now I have a couple of pieces of my loaf here and we've drilled holes in here. We got some 3 sixteenths and we got some 1 8 inch holes so now we're gonna put our dowels in here to represent little ornaments on the tree. Then we'll come back in and put little smaller holes for lights so light can just shine through. Okay, the key is to put these in without them breaking off like this one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in here and have it run through there a little bit. And I'm gonna screw this one in a little bit till it comes out the other side, gently, gently, gently. And comes out the other side. And then I'm going to just take my saw and just cut this off and we'll let that be set. And so we'll keep going through here. Part of the issue on some of these, the dowels are a little bit big, so I have to sand them down. Otherwise, they break off like that one did. So sand them down. Worked out pretty good. I didn't have to do any drilling on that one. So now I glued on the little stand to make it look like there is a base for the tree. And now we'll let all these guys dry and we'll cut. This is the first one that I have cut. And we'll need to work on the shape of the star a little bit, a little bit off centered, but other than that, it looks okay. We need to glue in a little stand there as well. Okay, so here is the first tree that we have uh, out of the drum sander. We had one little tick there. I made that when I was touching it up on the bandsaw. But other than that, you can see here, you have the light that goes through it, as well as the other little dots on the tree. So it turned out pretty good. So now we got to do the other ones. Cut these to about a quarter of an inch. So now I'm going to cut my quarter inch slices off this loaf. I've got all my dowels in here and little holes for the stars. So I have my blade set to quarter inch. Now I work at cutting the star or diamond or whatever shape you want at the top is the final cut on the bandsaw because I wanted to leave enough wood on there as I did a cut out of the loaf because I was afraid it might break off and so this is the shape that you can use you can use a different shape and I'll show you a second one here in a little bit that I actually did a, a second cut because these are a quarter inch thick they do have a tendency to break if you do drop them, so you want to make sure you get enough glue in there right, or you glue them back together after the break. So here's the, the diamond 
shape for this star on top and the next one is going to be a star. transition you take with a big old block a loaf as we call it of your tree and you see that is and then you come over and drill the holes in it and you draw the shape of the star you want with the finished cut and then you slice them up these nice quarter inch pieces and make it a little hole if you want to hang them on the tree or if you want to make them that'll stand up you make them probably a half inch thick there you go. We got scrap wood Christmas tree ornaments. Okay, so our last step for our Christmas tree, our scrap wood Christmas trees, is to sand these little edges in here. And so we use our one inch belt sander to do that. Pretty quick job. You just kind of touch this to get these surfaces smooth. Make sure there's nothing really sharp on that. And away we go. Let's have a quick look. There you go, that completes our DIY homemade scrap wood Christmas tree decorations. So I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you have fun making your Christmas ornaments for this year. Merry Christmas to all and a Happy New Year for 2023.